Hello, and welcome to the new studio, which I will be doing a episode on in due course, but not for this video, because this video is all about the making of the swallows. Now, the swallows started as a painting. That's a sketch for it. Um, or one of them anyway, and they became, uh, they were exhibited in my wild exhibition, which happened in November. They were the first to sell. They were so popular that I ended up making them into bronze. And what I'm going to do over the next few minutes is talk you through the process because it is so fascinating and interesting, and I think you might enjoy it. So here we go. So through my reliable Googling and uh, trawling through Instagram accounts of uh, great sculptors, I realized that you need a reference drawing or photo and also a rough plan of how you're gonna make your armature, which is the skeletal base from what you start. And there you go, you can see I've uh, roughly sketched out something that looks like a swallow. So after a lot of like twisting, bending, clipping, stabbing my thumb with little bits of wire and generally just really hurting my hands trying to manipulate this strong aluminium wire into position, I eventually uh, got there and I think I kind of, I think I did an okay job. Okay, that took way longer than I was expecting. Um, but I think the armature is there. I mean, it looks like something out of Terminator, but I, it's pretty solid. I hope it's gonna work. The next stage I found a lot easier as it was a simple case of packing in the clay and the plasticine, or really this was a, a kind of oil-based clay, and um, forming the birds and kind of creating the style I wanted them in. And I ended up with this, which I really loved. It took me at least a couple of days to get right and a couple of reiterations and reworking, etc. But I really wanted it to be quite painterly and I think I've captured it here. So lots of um, swipes and thumb marks and scrapes uh, to kind of capture that movement of the two swallows in flight. So with the swallows in hand, or rather in the car seat next to me, I headed over to the fantastic Talos Art Foundry, where a silicon mold would be made of these swallows, like this, this is an example, not swallows, and then you'd have molten wax poured into the silicon mold from a big machine like this. And this is the end result. It's an exact replica of my clay swallows, but just made in a uh, hard green wax. And we've included a base here with, of course, the very important signature and addition number. Next is the dipping or investment stage. So here we are watching a different sculpture by a fantastic sculptor called Matt Duke. And this beautiful salmon is getting dipped in a ceramic uh, suspended slurry, it's called, which then dries and hardens around the wax. This is done repeatedly a number of times and finally gets a crusty layer of sand. So it ends up looking a bit like this. This waxy, sandy contraption is then placed upside down in a kiln and heated to 1100 degrees. But all the wax melts out the bottom, leaving an exact, perfect ceramic negative mold. This negative mold then gets packed into sand the right way up this time, whilst bronze ingots are heated to 600 degrees and melted down into this glowing crucible. Um, the bronze is then carefully poured into the negative molds and left to cool for around about an hour. Once the bronze has cooled enough, it is then brought to this room where the ceramic shells are sandblasted away and the actual uh, casting is cleaned up just to reveal uh, the bronze itself. And this is where I finally got to rejoin the swallows and they look amazing. Here we have Ben just doing the final bit of cleaning, but super, super excited with how they turned out. 
Now the final part of the journey is patination. And here we have Bert using a number of different chemicals with a lot of heat to create the fantastic colors and finish that you see on the swallows. So here he kind of brushes on a cocktail of chemicals and then applies heat to create this deep orange. And then he's already applied the amazing green to the top bird. Lastly, a bit of hot wax goes onto the bronze to finish it and seal it up uh, from the elements. And so here we are. This is it. This is the final swallows in all their glory. So firstly, huge thanks to the Talos Art Foundry for helping me create um, my initial concept and make it um, come become reality. So. I'm just, I'm so pleased with the balance of this and how it flows as, as one art piece. Also, the foundry has just got the, the patination and uh, have replicated the clay perfectly. Every single mark, scrape and dash is all in here. And it just creates the most beautiful um, composition, I think. So. This is an edition of nine. There will only be nine of these in the world. Get in touch if you would like some more information. And um, I'm gonna start preparing for my next sculpture. It's gonna be a goodie.